Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our next episode of Real Talk. This is a segment that we do once a week, every week, where we just stop, we put the controller down, and we just have a little chat for a bit. And uh, it's my opportunity to just be real with you guys and just say it like it is. We don't sugarcoat things here. We don't kind of try and, like, shy away from the truth. But instead, instead what we do is we just say, let's just be real. Let's be raw. Let's be vulnerable. Let's just kind of say it like it is and today's topic is a really important one it's a really special one and it's one that means a lot to me and i'll tell you why because uh this is a topic that i'm currently experiencing it's something that i'm currently going through it's something that i currently need and what we're talking about today is a little thing called self-care self-care and you might be like what is that what is that all about for context let me tell you a bit about my life i work full time at my local church all right so i'm full time there I work there almost every day of the week. On top of that, I stream, as you guys know, and I'm here multiple hours a day, almost every day of the week. And on top of that, I'm a married man who is in the process of trying to buy a house and a lot of dramas going on with that. Trying to lead a youth ministry and have an entire team that I care for regarding that. Trying to look up the stream and entire team I care for over that. Trying to look after something called children's ministry, which is basically all the kids' church people in the entire church. I am now trying to help them, support them, look after them, care for them. As you can see, this is probably more than one person can handle. And I'm going to be real with you guys. I've started feeling that. I've started experiencing that. I've started being like, yo, you know what? I'm, I'm tired. Like, I'm, I'm... I'm struggling at times. There are some times where I am on and I am good and I am ready. And there are some other times where I'm just like, man, I love streaming. I love our community. I love this. But I'm like, man, I am hungry. I am tired. I'm just exhausted. I, I need something to just mix it up a bit. You know what I mean? And I had to come to understand this little thing called self-care literally yesterday i was in this conference right that i was actually doing all the multimedia stuff so i was sitting with the computers and kind of doing all that and the topic they were talking about was self-care and looking after yourself and one thing that was mentioned there and that was mentioned at another conference i went to a couple of weeks ago was a very simple concept to look after others you must first look after yourself to care for others you got to care for yourself for me to be the best me that I can be, the best pastor scar that I can be, the best Kieran that I can be, I need to look after myself. And through that, from the overflowing of that that commitment and care that I've given myself, I can then care for others. And I love it. Yo, Pixel Craftsy, welcome to our community. I don't want you to think that I'm ignoring you. I am not. We're just in the middle of an episode of Real Talk. And so after that, I'm going to go through all of our notifications, anyone that has joined our community in that time, etc. So uh, hang out with us. And, and you came at a perfect time, can I just say. But um. That's the thing that I realized, right? And I was like, man, this is important. And I was like, I need to look after myself. I need to take this seriously. Right now where I'm at, I can't stream full time. I would love to, right? Because this, this community is growing, it's thriving. People are being reached, people are being encouraged. People are finding support and healing and hope. And, and, and people are, are coming to understand the message above my head. That no matter what baggage, issues, pain, or, or whatever it is that's going on in our life, no matter what you've done or no matter what has been done to you, you might have baggage, you might have scars, you've experienced pain before, but you may be scarred, but you are not broken, my friends. You are never too broken. There is hope, there is healing, you have a future, you are valuable, you are loved, you are special, that God loves you guys and I love you guys and, and together we want to help you realize just how special you really truly are. You don't need to be a Christian to be here in our community. You don't need to be uh, religious in any way. I am a Christian. I work at a church. This is what I do. But you don't need to be. You are accepted here and you are welcome here. And if, if I can help you understand a bit about what I believe, great. And maybe you can teach me a bit about what you believe. And I would love to know that too. But like my intention here is to help you find this and to, to have a safe place to come to with people that are going to love you and care for you and support you and get to know you. Pixel, I know you just said in the chat that you wouldn't care if you were ignored. Well, I love that, but here's the thing. I care if you're ignored, because I don't want you to be ignored. Why, Pixel? Because you are valuable, because you are loved, you are special, you are so, so insanely important, and I need you to know that. I know we've never met, 
I know that, what, a minute ago, two minutes ago, you hit that follow button and then your name popped up on the screen. But already I know enough about you to know that you are loved and you are special and you are valuable. No matter what anyone else ever says, that is the truth. And I need you to know that. Like, I really genuinely, truly need you to know that because it'll, it'll change your life. And man... And so I'm thinking about my life as I'm like overwhelmed, right? I'm like, there's so much going on. I need to make decisions. And my wife, my darling wife, Sarah, she's the one that drew my attention to it. And she's like, babe, you're doing so much. And yes, it's fruitful. Yes, it's succeeding. Yes, it's growing. Yes, big things are happening, but you're going to burn out. Like, she literally was just like, you keep up the way you're going and you're going to be good for nothing. You're going to burn out. You need to, you need to figure something else. And so I had to make some decisions. And so what I did, uh, I've done a few things. One, you guys know that lately I've been streaming 4.30 to 7.30 every, basically every day, all right? For the time being, I'm gonna be reducing that to 4.30 to 6.30. So right now it's almost 6.30. So two hours ago, wherever you are in the world, all right? Whatever time it was two hours ago, that's when I start my stream. And this is the time that I'll be ending my streams. Why? Because as much as I would love that extra hour with you guys, I need to care for myself. And I need to care for my wife and I need to make that happen. I need to prioritize that mental health and that self-care and I have to do that. So that's something that I've decided to do. It means I'm going to get a bit more time with Sarah, which is great. Like, she's a very patient lady, right? She lets me do this, um, which takes a lot of commitment, but she does that. But I don't want to keep on pushing that, you know what I mean? For the time being, that's something I'm going to be doing. Another thing that I'm going to do is uh, next week, I'm doing something a little bit different, all right? And I want you to, I, I want to explain to you what that is because I don't want you to misunderstand it because uh, I think it's really, really important. I really do. And um, it, it's something that I find in this book that I absolutely adore called the Bible, right? It's, there's a verse in there that literally says, come to me. So this is God saying this, come to me, all you who are weary and heavy burdened and I will give you rest. And I'm looking at that and I'm like, uh, I'm in a situation where it can feel very overwhelming, right? It can feel like everything is crashing in around me. It can feel like things are full on, because they are, right? In the same way that we have amazing joys, when we have amazing moments happen, when we have absolute legends like FPS Hype who just hit us with that host, when we have things like that, this happens and we love it. We love it, but in those moments, just as there are highs, there are also lows. Just as there is that peak, there is also that that valley. And these things happen, man. This this is real life. This is legit. And to each of you that just joined us, can I just say what a perfect time for you to join? Because we are in the middle of an episode of Real Talk right now. And we're talking about self-care and we're talking about how important that is. And we're talking about some real things going on for me right now. I'm just being legit with you guys, just being real with you guys. That's what it's all about. So welcome to each of you. I will call out your names and go through all that. I've muted notifications for the time being, but I will do all of that right after Real Talk. But um, just letting you know, thank you for being here. But um, here's the thing. I see that Bible verse that says, come to me all who are weary and heavy burning, I will give you rest. And then I say to myself, you know what? I don't just need to spend more time with Sarah, my wife. I don't just need to spend more time doing all this. I need to spend a bit more time with my God. And I just need to sit and shut up. <laughs> I do a lot of talking in my line of work, both as a pastor and as a streamer. But I just need to shut up and sit there and just listen and just be present in that. So you know what I did? I messaged the senior pastor of my church, my boss, and I said, look, I need to take a me day. I need, to, I need to dip out. There's a guy named Jay that goes to our church. I love the guy. He's an awesome guy. And he has a thing that he calls Jay Day. And Jay Day is where he just goes away by himself and just does what he needs to do and comes back recharged. And like me, I'm an extrovert, right? But I, I'm like, I've never taken a day like that before. In my life, I've never just said, I'm going to go just me by myself, get an Airbnb, go stay somewhere and just take some time out to just process my thoughts. I've never done it. But you know what I decided? This is happening. This is happening and it's going to happen. So I messaged my boss and he sat me down today and I explained the situation. I said, look, I just need to invest in myself because for me to care for others, like we do in the stream, like we do at our church, like we do in life, for me to care for others, I need to care for myself. And this has to happen. And my boss was like, yeah, go for it. So you know what I did, right? I booked an Airbnb 
and I'm going to be going away next week just for one night to just escape from the world. I'm not going to be streaming that day. I'm not even going to take my laptop with me. I'm just going to sit, me and God, and just have that time to reconnect and just do life together and do that. And I really genuinely recommend this to each and every one of you guys, no matter what it is that's going on in your life. Like I said, you don't need to be a Christian to be here. You don't need to any of that. You are so welcome here and we love having you here no matter who you are, no matter what your story is. You are loved and you are special. But I highly, highly recommend it. That self-care is so infinitely important. I cannot recommend anything more than that. So uh, really, genuinely, truly, have a think about it and, and do what it is that you need to do. For me, next week, I'm going to do that. So you can hear it from me first right here and now. Next Wednesday is our regular stream time. There will be no stream next Wednesday, but I haven't forgotten about you. In fact, uh, part of my prayer time is going to be praying for you guys, praying for our community, praying for our stream, praying for each and every one of you. But um, I won't be here next Wednesday. Tuesday stream, still normal. When Thursday stream, still normal. Monday, still normal. But Wednesday is going to be, it's going to be J-Day, but for Kieran. Kieran Day just doesn't rhyme though, so it doesn't really work. We can call it J-Day anyway. Hopefully, Jay doesn't sue me. I'll send him the clip later. Uh, <laughs> guys, I just want to say, if you want to know anything more about anything I've talked about today, if you want to know anything more about this whole Jesus thing, if you want to know anything more about God or faith or Christianity, or you have questions or you have doubts or concerns or whatever, please feel free to reach out. We have a Discord channel set up so you can reach me directly. You can seek prayer. All kinds of things can happen in there. And we would love to have you in there. I would love to invite you personally to our Discord server where you can be a part of that. And we've got a prayer team in there that will just care for you and look after you. It, it is incredible. It is absolutely incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, can I just say thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me today in another episode of Real Talk. All right. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna pray for us as a community, and then we're going to call it there and uh, go from there. All right. I love you guys. You guys are the best. And then after that, I'm going to unmute the notifications, go back to the chat, and catch up on everyone that I've missed. And I apologize so much for missing all of your messages. I can see that the chat is exploding and um, that's awesome. But I just think right now is that moment where we just need, need to think about the importance of having that one-on-one -on -one God time, slowing life down and just saying, you know what, God, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna do that. And that's exactly what I plan to do next Wednesday. And now you guys will also understand why for the next season, our streams are gonna be a little bit shorter. They're gonna be ending around this time every day now. I'm, I'm, I'm reducing it. Um, instead of ending at 7.30 my time, it's now ending at 6.30 my time, which is right now. So uh, let's do it. Let me pray for you real quick and uh, we'll go from there. Father God, I thank you for Real Talk. I thank you for this community. I thank you for another day that we can just chat about these things and just do life together. Lord, go before us in this journey. And I just pray that you just guide each and every person here right now, whether they're a Christian or not, I hope that you can help them understand how loved they are and how much you care about them, how valuable they are, how precious they are, Lord. And I just pray for our stream community to continue to grow and just reach greater heights and reach more people and their lives will be changed, that impact will be made, God, that, that people will just have crazy, amazing experiences through what they hear about and learn and experience right here on this channel, God. And I just thank you for all of it, God. You're amazing. And we pray that the next stream is even bigger and even better. You are some name, I pray. Amen. Hey, do me a favor. If you prayed along with me, drop an amen in the chat right now. Love it. Love it. Love it.